to you by EA Sports. It's the Carolina Panthers and the New York Giants, and it's coming up next. Daniel Jones under center. The only thing committed to Daniel Jones 
to a poor season, but also made this a decisive year by declining his fifth-year option. 2022 looks like Jones' final chance to prove he can be the franchise face for the Giants, and he does have a cadre of weapons that he'll need to top his career highs of 3,000 yards and 24 touchdowns that he set as a rookie. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line. Our defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball, that's the head of steam coming out of the backfield. He can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 25, here's second and six. Now Jones. Steps away, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And Brian Burns flying in there and dropping it for the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off with the execution of that play. Good news, they get a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on the punt. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with an idea. 
slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Mayfield. And he's got it complete to Anderson. And they've got this down to about this one yard I think this is a real scene as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Throwing again on second down. Mayfield over the middle. He's got Chanel. And the Panthers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. LaVisca Chanel, here's a name that a lot of teams league-wide have kept eyes on. Threw a bit under the radar through his first two seasons, but he has produced 600 yards in each as a target eater. Not hard to see why the league remains high on it, especially when he makes catches like that. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Panthers will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 0 lead. So that drive seven plays in length. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. outside the goal line. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goal post, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Pass this complete to Daniel Bellinger. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. This time with them, be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense just to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. To throw again on second down. Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there on the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. And already down seven to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago, so a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there, and they get the first down. Saquon Barkley. 
Give him five on the carry here, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And if you think about it, the most offense is almost back to five yards on play calling our back. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Second and five now. Jones will get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Nine yards. It's a first down. We'll see quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. If they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it. Occasionally, you break a tackle and turn it to a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And a pretty good burst there as they get this across midfield and down to the 46. It's a game of the line and a giant first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six. Throwing Jones. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brian Burns. Now two sacks for him already in this first quarter of play. The drive had started well after a punt last time. Now it's slowed down a bit, and let's face it, they don't want to punt the ball back to back series. They want a sustained drive on this one. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Jones now, throwing on third and long. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. That one go for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Lock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this one will not get there. Talk to the left anyway. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven point game. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make it even in practice in the best of conditions. And now, worst of all, you have the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10.
First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Mayfield now. Down the right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll get this down around the 47. We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. That's and that's where they're able to find it in the, the situation. Mayfield on first down. This is Anderson over the middle. And they'll get this down to the 10. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Another flashy there, the slant to the slot. All the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Mayfield to throw it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare completion for him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. to throw Mayfield. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. And again, it's Mayfield. Eluding the press. Touchdown! Robbie Anderson! A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers go up by two touchdowns. That play was blocked so well, it almost felt like a seven-on-seven -seven session with no rush at all. Quarterback was able to stay in the pocket, scan the field, go to his progressions, and find the open receiver for a touchdown. And the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So this drive spans seven plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And he'll be set to take the field. 
And they're in a bind early here, down 14 0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Jones throw brought in by Bellinger. And he'll have this past the 30. Prior to go again. Out. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. Good job there getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. The 31 now on first and 10. A first down carry for Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut. Kind of exit out because they have everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Looking to throw, Jones. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. The Falcons led to Panama safety back in all the games. He went back to him with his first read with Kyle. Just not able to connect, so the play results in no game. The Giants on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. Operating from the gun, Jones looking for Shepard deep. And got his man complete. It's a big play for the Giants on third down. 49 yards. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And to be honest, this first half hasn't been anything they'd be really proud about. So they needed something like this to change their fortunes. Now they need to make sure they finish this one off, not just with points, but with a touchdown. And that throw, pretty impressive, and even 61 yards through the air. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Back to throw, Jones to Barkley on the check down. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get a the ball, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifted. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones. And that throw behind his man. He missed it incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, no, no. no. I understand why they look lethargic. Out of sync. And it shows on the scoreboard. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Buying time to his left. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Barkley not going anywhere. He'll lose a cover back to the six. A loss of two there. Second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy lift come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Oh, 
Second and goal from the six this time. Another try for Barkley. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three. And a gain of three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now the three are going to go to the air. I think the possibility exists. And if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Jones, going to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Giants! Can I go there on the touchdown? Throw from Daniel Jones. And the Giants have got it back to the middle score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14 to 7. touchdowns now but this offense they just had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone yeah and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And they'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Right. They have to just throw a touchdown right here. If it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second and nine, Mayfield. Complete into the hands of Trumbull. That's good in the completion there for seven yards. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. That's a staple of this offense. Drag around to the tight end. He's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. Complain. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. So on now is Johnny Hecker to punt this one away. James now to return it. Eight yards on the return, following a punt of 41. And now look at the offense as they take it. The New York set to take the field. Well, this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 on the first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here. It's really nicely executed for around. First 
and ten. Barkley inside handoff. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Looking to throw, Jones. Pass is caught by Wondell Robinson. So the completion good for six yards. And they're going to have a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Barkley, and he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41, a loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. With this size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Jamie Gillen. And looking up to the side, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20 yard line. It'll be a 39 yard punt, no return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. Yeah, he'll be 
tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Turnover. They're going to take a Previous second play look is at under this review. just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear position of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. To review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. Signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So, even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on down to try to get three before halftime. They'll come from the right hash. It's a 47 yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the 1-2 to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So six seconds, all that remains in this first half as the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes the return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down and off the 17 yard line. snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, time for a check to the next-gen stats from that first half for Carolina. And their offense has been in top form so far, especially their passing game, as it's helped push them out to this big halftime lead. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to 
fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Holding, receiving team. So already not the best to kick returns there, but that automatic first pass insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goalposts. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. It's Barkley on the counter. Oh, heck of a move. Man. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25. 24. And they want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Now Jones. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. And the top of the game, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 34. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Well, with Saquon Barkley, you often think of the elusiveness, the quickness, but he can definitely run with purpose as well, and he's able to shed a tackle there and continue on. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took off that initial contact, and then his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Now Jones throwing on first down. It's Barkley once again bringing in the catch. He'll get this down to the 42-yard line. More yards. First downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're up to a fast start here. and 10 at the 42-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Down inside the 40. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. Yeah, this defense as a whole has really been flying to the football all game long. They have not allowed too much of anything, and here's another example. A great play there to get in and disrupt it before it could get going. Yeah, the next-gen stats tell the story as he was traveling at better than 19 Guys, miles an hour. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 34. Well, a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Throwing Jones. And a fine Galladay, that's complete. And he will have the Giants first down. It's a game of six by time on third and two. Okay, Sam's a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That's a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Here's Jones on first down. His throw incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw. 
the defense of Once again, trying to make the spell stay up over this drop every chance. Come on, man, get him off. Let's go, man. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's so dominant. He's An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. He'll find a man over the middle. It's Galladay. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. To throw the catch. By the way, like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll look to throw again. That's to Galladay, and he's got it. Touchdown, New York. Kelly Galladay with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants go to coast to coast to force the drive away for six points. Down. 
Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. To throw Mayfield. Over the middle complete. That's more. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. After the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From the six. 
And he will make it to the 20-yard line and go further. There's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown, and cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back over. We started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at the 20. He'll drop it off with Saquon Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, the end of all that hit and hop, and it was a four-yard run, so the Eagles could go out there and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 25 on second down, Jones. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Giants with possession of the football and needing points as we start quarter number four. The Giants on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and six. Throwing there, but this pass is going to be a for the defense there. They force him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for New York. Here's Smith to return it. Now a hit and a loose football. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 with a 33 yard line. That's where they'll take over. And now hang on here. The door. Can you hear it? It's, it's, it's a little open. Uh, is that the squeaky hinges that I'm hearing right now? Yeah, the door. Is that too high? Not at all. The door is open a little bit. It's almost like when you told those horror stories on the camping trip, right? <laughs> and now, look out. Yeah. We've got a little bit different look at the game at this point. Big momentum swing here in the fourth on the punt fumble. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the four. Personal foul. Unnecessary run. Defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. Automatic first base if they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty. But now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Jones now on first and ten. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. the middle with Barkley. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven again. Not the start to the drive. They were open for it. That one doesn't get a bunch of them. No, not at all. Not this but they're wrong, which means you got a guy that's still pretty good. Think your best player with a play that he likes to run best. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Back to throw. Jones. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. He got out of bounds. That's a good thing, but still short of the first. And now, since this brings up fourth down, the defensive play caller, grab your nerves. Because now, you don't want to be so amped up that you give them a first down by getting out of your lanes. But you also don't want to just lay back and let them have it easily. 
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming from the left hash, a chip shot here. Gano's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but a starting field position like that, three's not what you're making. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford a chance like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball to the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Brian down so you can pitch work on that clock. See if you can continue to take it down. Definitely you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Meanwhile, Mayfield so complete there to Thomas. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Mayfield to throw it. On the throw, running too much that time. It's incomplete. And the coach just tells all the time that a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. And when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Mayfield. Now he'll let it go deep left side. And that's going to be a Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. That's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. This goal for his words in the spent in front work does not get much of a chance to use it here. The defense continued to hold the upper hand by bringing him down on that play. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. 
They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, you don't turn your nose on when you gain a four, do you? They take that on first down. Barkley's got to be pretty well on second and six. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Barkley. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And there was some of the downsides of blitzing during a run down because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a bandit. This offense so far on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This time they face a third and two. Throw right side, taken in by Bellinger. And he will have a Giants first down as they get five there on third and two. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing the opportunity to drift back towards the first down line. It's still having to get it Jones throwing on first down. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Yeats or Gross Matos in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Looking to throw. Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. This is third and long. Back to throw. Jones. Flush to his right. Got his man complete over the middle. It's James. And they're going to have another first down as attack is made at the Panthers' 31 yard line. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. He's got Bellinger. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. That coach is always hard by the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. How about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? To the right and complete to Galladay. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw no different. Yeah, a lot of people call a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. It's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to get him about three yards. He's down. Two. Three yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So it's Giants football.
football here as we welcome you back. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And this time, he is in. Push 
his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now the Panthers are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Up the gun, McCaffrey. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense. Not only with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.